Hello, football pickers around the globe. Welcome to your Week 14 Results Show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, do you know what? This was a crazy week because we had the pool flip-flopped here, it seems like. The bottom feeders are on top and uh, all of the hot shot super star football pickers are down at the bottom. So what happened there? I said mostly, okay, mostly. Uh, but it did come down to, uh, like I said, Florida versus Michigan. Jerry W. versus Mikey Wenner. And I tell you what, that 42 was the best pick he ever could have come up with, with the final score having a total points of 43. And G tied with Jerry going into it, and uh, they both picked Seattle, 43 points, wins. So congratulations to Mike, his first win of the year. Uh, I don't remember Mikey winning before, so uh, it's got to be a thrill. It's got to be a thrill. It's gonna. It's got to been the uh, the talk of the shop on Tuesday morning around that water cooler or coffee pot or uh, still or whatever you want. But anyway, congratulations, Mike, uh, Jerry. You know, sorry about that. Uh, uh, you're gonna probably pick uh, higher than forty for now on. I would imagine so. Mikey Winner takes week 14. Looking at the uh, top 10, Kevin. Kevin comes oh so darn close along with Aunt Michelle. Uh, the winners were uh, definitely well uh, represented in week 14. They both came in with 121, one point behind Jerry and Mike. Um, so good job. Um, I tell you what, uh, looking at the picks, though, uh, the, the only reason why Jerry uh, Warmacircan was up there is because he picked those Giants, and what a game that was. Everybody had, you know, Dallas and the Giants for three or less, one, two, or three. Uh, he uh, Jerry went out on a limb and picked those Giants for six, and I tell you what, it came down to that last field goal attempt again for the Cowboys. And Jerry Jones was all mad. And I don't blame him. Last, the week before, his own coach ices his, his own kicker and he missed. And then uh, the opposing coach iced him again. And then the field goal got blocked. So uh, I don't know, if Jerry, if you uh, stayed up and watched that game. But it was a thriller. But, uh, yeah, that's that's why Jerry W. was up there to begin with. So, uh, let's look at the top ten. Uh, Mike, Jerry, Kevin, and Michelle, like I said, one point back, one point behind them was David. David, good job. You know, you're usually way down there by me. Uh, like I said, we kind of all flip-flopped this week. Kurt, uh, uh, 118, tied with Maddie Jack. Now, Maddie Jack, she's, she's always up there, as is his next guy, Matt Monroe. But Matt Monroe has been kind of quiet lately, so uh, he's starting to come back in and uh, into the top ten on a weekly basis. So uh, it's the race is going to be oh that race the standings this going through week fourteen is just unbelievable. But that was Matty Jack, uh, Matt Monroe, Michelle Phelps uh, is tied with uh, Matt Monroe and Sherry. Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry's up there in the top ten. Gosh, darn the gully. Yep, miracles never cease. Right under Sherry is Marty. Marty, another perennial cellar dweller up in the top ten. What? Yeah, then Mary Beth Nielsen, Schmielsen, and Sean. Sean Kendall in the top ten. It was close all week. I mean, uh, you just, uh, the games were, were unbelievable. Uh, you know, I mean, who would have thought that, uh, well, the, like the Tampa Bay Jacksonville, who are you going to pick? You know, half the pool went this way and the other half went that way, you know. Uh, I And the Miami game. Uh, all right, Philadelphia's been playing terrible lately. You know, so I, I'm, I'm figuring, well, Miami's going to take care of them guys. Well, <laughs> wrong. So did a lot of other people thought the same thing. Uh, 
So let's let's uh, meander down to the bottom ten, to the cellar dwellers. Down at the bottom is Rebecca Poitch, and uh, she she's there because she didn't get her picks in. Well, she got the big goose egg, so she's she's at the bottom. Right above her is Colleen Josh. Colleen, 102. I mean, 96. Here, I'm giving you a Warren score. <laughs> Colleen, oh, second from the bottom. Then, like I said, Warren's right above Colleen with a 102. Hey, at least, at least Warren got his picks in. You know, I mean, he's still flying high from that winning week uh, 12 or 13. Uh, I think 13. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then above Warren is Denise. She's always down there, but she's always winning a week. But then, this is a shocker. This is the shocker of, no, maybe one or two giant shockers for week 14. Right above Denise is Deb Warmeskirken. What? Oh, 107 tied with Charlie McEwen and Denise Martin is Deb Warmeskirken. Whoa, that's not going to help her... Uh, Standing stature, I'm telling you that right now. I don't know, did I screw you up that, uh, for having the video so late last week? That probably was. You were all ready to get, get your big ass giant wine glass, that Cooper Town wine glass, sitting down ready to enjoy RM at its finest and what? Hey, no, no, no! It just wrecked your week, I know. Okay, I'll try not to have that happen again to you, Deb. Uh, right above Charlie, who's tied with Deb. And Denise is Dan. Dan. Dan's going boink. Face plant on the cement. Right above Dan, though, is the other shocker. D. D. 109. What happened, D? Oh, my God. You let your brother beat you with a 110. So is D with 109 and JM with 110. What the heck? Wow. Miracles will never cease. Not that that's a miracle. <laughs> but, hey, anyway, right above uh, D and Jerry is Art Peitch. Now, Art, Art gets his picks in, and you'd think that uh, he'd be talking to his wife. Becca, did you get your picks in yet? Guess that conversation never happened. Right above Art, where the 110 is tied with JM, is Glenn. Yeah, he's back to where he belongs. Down by me. And I beat, no, oh, we tied at 111. Me and the Mr. Red ties at 111. Then there's Katie going up and Big Ed Oklahoma Justin, who still is the only holdout money-wise and preventing all you winners out there from getting your money. So, you know, if you want to drop at a note somewhere in Cowtown, Oklahoma, be my guest because I'm still waiting on that money. All right, so anyway, and then then the metal, you know, blah 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 blah. All right, let's uh let's get out of this and uh, let's check those standings, those all important standings. All right, here we go. Through week fourteen, Matthew Monroe is hanging on. I mean, he he did pretty good this week. Came in with a one seventeen, so he's at fourteen ten total. But we got a new second place. Pecker, and that's Matty Jack. Boy, I tell you, I've been calling Deb Wormsirk and Miss Consistent, but you know what? Matty Jack is Miss Consistency. I mean, good job, Matty. And you know what? I was just kidding around with you when I said, well, was I chop liver? Oh, come on. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. I, you know, I like to chime in when you guys are pounding that keyboard, trying to slap somebody upside the head. So, you know, I just had to throw that two cents in worth. No big deal. Uh... I know I'm the main guy, but you know what? David is the ultimate professional co-commissioner because he gets stuff done. And when I want to just stomp on pickers for not getting their picks in, he said, back off, RM, not so fast. Don't be so darn harsh. So, it's Manny Jack at second. D falls to third. Followed by week 14 winner Mikey Winner and Debbie Wormskirken rounds out that top five who will be getting paid once Big Ed gets his money in. So there you go. There you have it. Week 14. So we got a Thursday game. We got a Saturday game. We got Sunday games. We have Monday games. So all right, get those picks in. 
and hasta la vista baby